Um, we're just back today with Ben, and we're going to discuss a couple of things. Obviously, the Hearts game. I kind of got any detail with the match day vlog, but we have got Ben, and obviously, um, beat on. It was a bit, you know, strange. He put on, his, you know, his story on Instagram, like what a journey it's been at Celt, kind of Celtic, and it's like, is it just about his family, or is it more Celtic related? We'll talk about that, and obviously. It's been circulating around Ben that Scott Brown could potentially give on Trophy Day um, the captain, the new captain, Cal McGregor, the trophy. So let's talk about that. But let's talk about, first of all, Ben, um, the Hearts game, which was a remark of champions, as I put yesterday in yesterday's video. But I'm going to talk to you first, Ben. Say, what were your thoughts on it first? Uh, I think I was a bit shaking at first. Yep. Uh, I think everybody was after they scored the first goal. Aye. I think everybody was kind of a bit on edge. But uh, aye, after we brought it back, I think we were kind of in full gear. The full mm. match, to be fair. It was yeah. just a, it was just a bit of an early setback, and then uh, we were in, to be fair. Yeah. That's all I can say. And um, we'll, we'll talk a bit about the game as well. The first goal we talked about, it was a, a shaky start, wasn't it, Ben? And Sims, fair play, he was, I think he's a very good player for Hearts. Um, and... It, is it a, I don't know if it's a mistake from the back, it's a throw-in, and Starfield does, does get turned, some may say it's a slightly offside, but you know, it's it's on the line, I think, I don't know, Um, so Starfield does get done there, so can I need, might need to work on that, but it's a good goal in the end, um, but if the nervous is, if the, you know, the if it wasn't already there, it was, you know, when that goal went in, and it did shock us, I think the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes, we really, you know, went ourselves, you know, we weren't that, fast football I think Hearts brought their game they had a good game plan the first 15 minutes they did and when they got that goal all they did they just sat back um, and yeah. allowed Celtic the pressure and Jota's goal you had to get them wide men's playing because Hearts played as I said sat back There's midfield we couldn't get it through so Jota and Maeda had especially a great game on Saturday and how good was that goal Jota scored did it prove even more that it is crucial to sign him yeah, it uh, proves that he's, he is devoted to the club. I think we, we've all known it for a while now. That uh, I think there was rumours circulating as well that he, he decided that he wanted to stay in Glasgow, which yeah. is, if that is true, then that's perfect for us. But, um, yeah, I think, honestly, it, it shows that he he genuinely cares. He's not like players who have came here in the past and just mm. either one played for a move or played for... Um, like, to get back into their parent club mm-hmm. and become starting players and yeah I think it's just it really does show that he's he cares yeah sure. and um, and it's a good finish from Aida right through the legs of Craig Gordon and I, was it that I think that yeah it was the first goal who Hearts were appealing for a free kick from McGregor I mean I don't know he wins the ball from the back of him I don't think he really gets you know I'm probably saying this through green tint glasses but I don't think there's enough in it you know for I don't know yeah you know, mm-hmm. uh, it was, it was, in my opinion, it wasn't a free kick. Yeah. Um, in a second goal, you know, I mean, Craig Gordon saying, no way, no way. I mean, come on, Craig Gordon, come on. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a lovely cross. I think it's from, is it Jota again? No, it's not because Jota gets ahead. It's two assists he got. So I think it's a Rayleigh's cross or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it's a good cross anyway, whoever crossed it. Uh, I think it's Jota heads it. Kyogo, he's very brave, by the way, to go in there because there's a. A Hearts defender and Craig Gordon come out for it, so he's very brave to put his head in there and um, try and get it over the line. They did. Um, that assistant, leave, assistant referee had a stink, stink their whole game. I could put many words, but that is YouTube, so we'll keep it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Keep it family friendly. <laughs> yes, um, many words on, on the match day vlog that I couldn't put in because, well, we know <laughs> people around, but you know. Yeah. Um, but as I say, he was very brave, and it was a 2 1 up at half time, and I think that overall I think there's only going to be one more team one team in that game now when we went 2-1 up but it's going to win the game because after that Hearts looked really tired especially going into the second half and yeah. uh, you know they just looked on um, trying to keep it at 2-1 and great fair play to Craig Gordon he did pull off some good saves near the end of the game as well um, now let's talk about the second half Ben did you think that as a, basically what I said there only one team was going to win it in the end uh, yeah you could tell I, I think after the first goal we were back in mm-hmm. and hearts were kind of shaking. So, yeah, basically we, we were controlling the game from that point. Yeah. Uh, I think the second half we were slightly better than we were in the first half because mm-hmm. obviously we get the, the goals that kind of just confirmed that we, we won the match. But, you know, 
we just kind of take it into the next game. I think it's some like twenty goals that Rangers have to score to yep. equalise their uh, their goal difference. So there's no way that they've done it. We've basically won the league at this point. Yeah. Although I have jinxed it before, so <laughs> watch them get twenty penalties. <laughs> yeah, as twenty goal, twenty of a goal difference. Um, Celtic obviously sitting eighty nine and Rangers yeah. eighty three. So it is not mathematically impossible, but. All you're needing is a point on Wednesday night, and that's it. We'll talk about that as well. But um, the third goal, Ben, uh, was a really, um, and it was a great move from Celtic. We win it back from all the way back at our defence, all the way a lovely post pass from Abada, Jota cross through pass. What a ball it is from uh, Jota back right, right to the back to Matt O'Reilly, and he's a lovely finish from O'Reilly. Gordon, maybe if you're a Hearts fan, maybe say he could do better, but it's a good finish. You know, it's a lovely finish on Matt O'Reilly. Uh, I don't think you can say too much about that one. Um, how much is a bargain is he? I was talking about it in yesterday's video, Ben. How much is a bargain is Matt O'Reilly being like one point five million oh, from yeah, Kind of ones. Yeah, that's. I think that's one of the buys of the season. To be fair. Yep. I mean, one point five for a free kick specialist who's he's basically like a younger Rogic. Yeah. Aye. So I, I think he's a, a massive bargain. And, it's not just that as well. We buy him for one point five million. We could potentially sell him for about ten or fifteen. Yeah, Premier yeah, League not. club. Yeah, uh, there's so many players you could do that with in the team. I'm not saying don't sell him right now, but that's you know it's good that we can get that profit in the future, Celtic. So that's good uh, that we've got a bargain from you know. I mean, we're the were, uh, Middlesbrough were joking about when we we failed to get was it McCree or something like. That? Oh and was, yeah, Rayleigh McCree. Yeah, they were joking. Oh, he doesn't. He only likes to wear this kind of style of green. I mean. They didn't even make the, the playoffs, so come on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there you go. Um, but the fourth goal that got disallowed before we actually did get the fourth goal, Jota. He didn't even. I was. I felt sorry for him. He didn't even know it was offside till he, yeah. he, 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 he turned back. It was a good finish, but you know, he, it was. He took it very well. Um, but it's just I. Just at this point for him, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Um, it was very tight again. I've got to say, I, d- I don't know. I'm not seeing pictures, but I did watch sports scene. But they, you know, them angles they've got. You know, what I mean, they just <laughs> the wee uh, triangles. So yeah, I, I don't know what you a wee triangle. Everything's a triangle. <laughs> I know. Uh, but the fourth goal we did get. I mean, I, when James Forrest came on, I've never heard. I know we're winning the title, but I never heard a cel- a cheer for uh, James Forrest in a couple of years. Like, you know. Uh-huh. Oh. I kind of I feel bad for Forrest yeah. this season because he's not much of an impact. I mean, I know he was out injured and stuff as well, but mm-hmm. even at that, he didn't have much of a... Because we've got Maida, we've got Abada, we've just, we've just got players that are better than him, and I know he's a better one-club man. And, but I, I think it was it was good for him and his mentality to get back in and, you know, be cheered on by the fans. I think that's got to be the same for Chris Julian as well because yeah. he's had the same sort of scenario where he's, he was a fan favourite and then get injured and then a player that's just come in that's just no it, they've not been I they've, they've been good players but there's just players that have been kind of that are better than them aye so um, yeah you can't be at fault that's it and um, and he did provide the assist for Yakimaka's goal and it's a, it's a good fit he started it from like the halfway line which is, is I know we've, we've not seen too much of Forrest this season through slight injury and obviously Abada Maeda you know it's more players in front of him on the list. A bit like the midfield, you know, like Sorrow and all that. It just can't get a game because we've got so many midfielders now. Um, yeah. The goal was good. You know, it was a good assist from Forrest. He's, up, he's there. Good pass to Yakimakis. And I felt when that goal, and I don't know you've been, but I felt when that goal went in, it's just great to see him back in the goal sheet, especially, you know, there's you know, top scorers still up there. Um, I think I've seen today on Twitter that both, um, yeah, both um, Kyogo Nabada and Yakimakis are all in 10 goals. So, who's going to oh. finish top of our scoring charts? See, just, see, just thinking about that, right? Kyogo yeah. was top form mm-hmm. for the first half of the season. Then he got his injury. And that's just when Yakimakis came back from his injury. And I think everybody was kind of thinking, oh, well, what are we going to have now? We've not got a, a striker who's kind of proved himself. And then yeah. Yakimakis came in, and I think he's, at the time, he was even more a fan favourite than. Yota and Kyogo put together because he was just scoring for fun. Yeah, definitely. And, was. and then when he got injured, it was a big blow. Like, well, we're going to need to play Kyogo now, and uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just yeah. that at the time, Yakimakis was better. It goes back to James Forrest. It wasn't that Kyogo was playing bad. It's just they get injured and someone else is playing better than him. And luckily for Kyogo, uh, Yakimakis got his injury as well again. So 
yeah. I think it's going to be tough next season for the two players to try to fight for that uh, place. Definitely, and we'll, we need to see how that transfer uh, window goes because we could potentially sign another great striker. I'm not saying we should go out there and get one, but if a yet it leaves, maybe fill that gap there. But yeah, I'm not saying we desperately need another striker, but we'll see how that goes. But aye, that's a Hearts game, and the, I felt that I wasn't obviously at the Rangers game, but I felt that atmosphere after the game was as best as it an old firm game you win it. You know, I think that was it. Just showed that that we're nearly there. Until that goal, that C, that confirmation's there, I'm yeah. not say it's over, but it is edging there. You know, you could yeah, say yeah, it's 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 borderline there. It's yeah. like you you we've basically done it, but um, it's not over till it's over. I yeah, know. and that's it. I I just and they're talking about after the match, the players and that. They're saying you've just still you've still got to play the games. You get Dundee United on Wednesday, and obviously a mile on Saturday. You'd wrap it. You'd want to wrap it up Dundee United. Um, I would love it if they just dropped points yesterday, but I'd rather do it on my like on Celtic's own grounds of winning it. You know what I mean? But um, they only need one point to win it, the title. Um, so even if we draw against Dundee United, uh, we will win the title. Um, I'd love to win it. I don't. I don't see why we shouldn't win it. Um, that is a big question we'll get on to Ben later on in the video. Who should we start since it's come near the end of the season? But we'll talk about that. But I want to talk about the comparisons, Ben. We started this season with Dane Murray and Stephen Welsh in defence. <laughs> Basically on Saturday we won, won, won the league. We were just missing, you know, a David Turnbull, 40 yard a screamer. Yeah. He, he tried it a few times, but Hearts players were in the way, but um that's crazy. Dane Murray and Stephen Welsh in defence at the start of the season. <laughs> yeah. Um, well it's I know Stephen Welsh get young player of the year, but I genuinely think he should have went to Leila Bader because he's he's just been better. Yeah. He's just been the better player to be fair, but Definitely. Stephen Welsh getting it isn't a bad thing because he is a, a good player. But again, I'll, I'll come back to the point I've made countless times. He's not bad enough that he doesn't start. It's because there's just better players playing in the same position as him. Yeah, and that's it. Um, and that's just where season went. You know, it's been if you that's it. Um, I'm talking about comparison and all that stuff. And when we I sat down here, Ben, and I talked about that six two loss to West Ham. And I was worried. I was definitely worried the way this team was going because three days later we played in a Champions League qualifier. Who I'm actually in two are you know <laughs> you know we played them before, but we were expected to you know get really hammered. We didn't. We put up a fight, but we were worried the way this, this season went. You know, the, it was kind of ironic that we beat Hearts after them beating us in the open game of the season. So that kind of sorted our season out. But I think people were saying to me, you know, this season went fast. I think it's went fast because you know how well it's went and. Last season went really slowly yep. because we were losing everything, but uh, last season has been dead fast. I think this year just in general has been dead fast, to be fair. Yeah, it has been. Um, and hopefully br bring it on next season, but it's going to be a, a massive season again next season. But um, again, no one expected it. I mean, I can't but I can't wait to see what we'll hopefully after we go over the line. Champions League at Celtic Park. I mean, that's. When's that? Since Bendon 27? I think it was 2016. Yeah, 2016. Yeah. I remember that, I'm so not, that's. I'm not 100% sure. I know it's around about that. Aye. Time, as long as it's definitely guaranteed, I, th I don't think anybody's going to go that. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure it is because we can't, well, obviously, Russian teams can't go into the competition this year, so we're pretty much in. Um, so that's good. Um, but aye, so from 6 2 to West Ham, I mean, I know West Ham are in Prem's lead, but. We could have like kept it at a, you know, that was a bad time. Ah. Um, booted obviously at the Champions League qualifiers, beating on the open day by Hearts, and then obviously beating them at Celtic Park to win the title. But it showed, everyone in the, the team showed their part this season, Ben, you know, from, you know, as I say, Stain Murray, Stephen Welsh at the back, to Starfelt, CCV, to overcoming, you know, games like Rangers first time, well, it was in, in February. First time since 2019 we beat Rangers, and then we first time since September 2019 we beat them at Ibrox. Um, but I know they've went to the Europa League final, Ben. I think that just shows how Celtic are this season. We managed to yeah. beat a, a side that are in the Europa League final. I, I, and we've done a lot more than other people have been able to do. Dortmund weren't able to do it. Yeah. Uh, Red Star Belgrade weren't able to do it. Um, who else was it? They played Leipzig weren't able to do it. And yeah. Neither were Braga. Well, Braga did do it. But, yeah. yeah. Certainly, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but it just shows you 
we can be as good as them if we just try. Because I know we're not too perfect in European leagues. Yeah. But that's because we've got full. We had full focus on the league this year. Yeah. We can gen. I think we could genuinely be better than Rangers because if we can beat them in the league, we can beat them in anything. Yeah. And I think that obviously we got beat. We got beat by in the Scottish Cup and. Um, and they opened the, the you know this kind of start of the season, but that was kind of going to happen, you know, because we were trying to build a squad. Then we still had Edward in the team, Christie and all that. So we're kind of still getting rid of players. Uh, the semi final one was just you know everyone had a bad day, you know, that was the stale that one. But I, I think that we definitely can push forward and beat Rangers um, next season again and push for the title again uh, next season. Um, I think one game that really, you know. We thought, oh, we should have took advantage of it. it was St Mirren game where we're, it was at before Christmas, like to, it's after we won the League Cup, and it looked like a squad that everyone was out because it was COVID, because of COVID, and yeah. um, it was a nil nil. You know, it was a very bad nil nil. I thought it was the worst game to watch ever, but <laughs> oh god, it was. Oh. No, it was, it was shocking. Um, I remember it vividly. Yes, um, but that game we all expected, you know. I thought, oh, maybe that's maybe it's not our season, maybe. But what I, what have we turned around since then? Like that winter breaks really helped us again. I mean, I know, especially the Rangers fans saying, oh, what the SPFL have joined with Celtic to let them to let him try and win the league. I mean, I don't. It wasn't just Celtic who voted for the winter break. I said that at the yeah. time when it was going forward. It wasn't just Celtic who voted for it. It was like every other. Yeah, it was every other team in the league except from Rangers. It's because it doesn't suit Rangers, and I get back to a point from. I think it was a couple of years ago where we did it, and and then they were all moaning at us. So oh, yeah. you know, it's yeah. just it, it, you can't win them, can you? <laughs> Honestly, definitely not. You always moan at the end, no matter what. <laughs> definitely, and um, I always like Frankfurt. You know I mean, I always like the the sausage over there, Sony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we'll see how that goes. I mean, I know they're eleventh in the Bundesliga, but. You know, we'll see. It. See, we felt. See if you're able to beat teams like the new Barcelona, and I know they've not been too brilliant this no. season. But ever since Xavi's arrived, they're looking like I think they could genuinely challenge the title next year. But if you're able to beat a team like that and beat West Ham, who are probably one of the best teams in England, I I, I think you can easily scale with the Rangers. But yeah. I, I've said it before, and it's bad things have happened. So yep, we'll see where that goes. Um, but we'll just have to concentrate, Ben, and just wrap the league up, don't we? Um, and I think, uh, yeah, and we're going to talk, obviously you are talking about there, Ben, that the team's going to get stronger next season. It is, you know, we've got a massive again window in the summer, but with more money, you know, more, more money in the budget, um, and hopefully we do spend it on, spread it about the kind of positions we need, uh, depth, maybe just see how it goes. Um, but it seems more than that, and then you know more in a rebuild but I think it seems more like a a set up for the future Celtic I think uh-huh. he, you know he's not only changed like obviously changed the first album obviously but you know the, the youth team we've seen like some Montgomery come up obviously when we need them uh, he's away on loan we've seen like some of Dane Murray even Dane Murray you know we've been called out a lot on Moffat um, but I think he's really gave a chance to young players Ralston is, I know he's had a chances but you know he's he's there Um I think he kind of got robbed for, uh, what was it? What you, I can't even... Young player of the year. Yeah, he's well, kind of up there, yeah. I, I agree with that, yeah. Um, nah, 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 Although I don't think he's... I don't think he can clarify him as young anymore. He's not at 23, 24. Yeah. So I, I think it, it probably would have been him if he was uh, still at 22. Aye. Yeah, so aye. he was unlucky here. But um, to wrap up kind of the, ch- the, the Hearts game and all that... And, uh, Get getting close to that title party, Ben. Um, PBC, of course, they've got to make a question. It's very stupid to Ange Postecoglou. Um, so I don't know what you asked him, but Ange's response was, "Only you could make winning a championship feel like a downer." <laughs> I mean, that's that's the BBC for you. Um, I mean, yeah, the media. He's he's took the storm this season talking about Ange this season. He's not let him have like the dig like. When we beat Mullerwell and Rangers dropped points at home to Hearts, he was like, I thought the title was over, mate. You know what I mean? So he's... I'm just kind of a bit of uh, Australian Sean Dyche, isn't he? <laughs> Definitely. That's what, that's what it reminds me of. He, he, he's pure outspoken to the media, and he? Like, he just doesn't care what he says. Yeah, he does. Um, and hopefully he continues that. I like it. You know, he doesn't uh, take... Uh, 
You know, he doesn't take it. Yeah. Um he did say about one I know Rangers won yesterday but uh I yesterday but someone asked him if he was gonna watch the game and he was like, No, I'm taking my kids to the cinema <laughs> So he's yeah, he's he, he likes yeah. a bit of banter than the he likes a bit of the banter on the Yeah. Um Gallus banter. <laughs> If you haven't watched it, please watch Chewing the Fat. It is brilliant. Yeah, it's, not, it's, it's not as good as still game. Nah. Uh, the same guys that make it. But yeah. It's still very quiet. Yeah. Um, talking about celebration and title party, Ben. The, everyone is seem to be able to talk about it in the kind of last podcast about um, uh, George Square title party and all that stuff. It's after it's the game. Phoenix. Phoenix Center, in fact, yeah. As you say, Phoenix Center, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but we, we might see up there, Ben. <laughs> I will be signing autographs. <laughs> for that yes, we will. We will be up there. Um, so if you bump into his guys watching watching the videos or uh, just watching in general, just give us a, a shout. Um, unless I'll be um, celebrating. Hopefully, Celtics winning the title back. Um, yep. In Glasgow, um, one person I want to say who was definitely wrong this season was Stolton. He put. He was writing off Celtic. I know a lot of people were, but Thogden was like, "No way, Celtic's going to win it, even though we're, you know, even when we were beating Rangers in February." Yeah. Or, <laughs> I don't. I, I, I did see that. Oh. I think he's too. I don't think many of the English YouTubers are too fond of Celtic. Nah. Yeah. I think it's a bit stupid. Yeah, I know. Um, I know. Yeah, I know. Talk about English, uh, like kind of media stuff and that. Ben, English YouTuber. Um, I don't know his name. Because Liverpool are on for a quadruple, they're like, people are saying, Celtic have done it, and they did, you know, they did. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And they're saying, oh, the Scottish League way too easy, like, I mean, don't talk, I mean, I know it's like Celtic Rangers, but just look at the Premier League, it's only Man City, Liverpool. Um, I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't go that far, I think Chelsea did a good chance before mm. the whole Abramovich thing, and, uh, yeah. you know, the, the, I think some of the others just kind of let slide, and they waste a lot of money on Rom, Lukaku, but mm. I... I yeah, basically it's just a two horse race at this point. It's just Liverpool and Chelsea. But I, I think, you know, I would just want to touch yeah. the wee side thing. I think Arsenal. Nah, English, Arsenal's my English team, right? Yeah. And I know they're kind of affiliated with Rangers, but I, I don't know why. I just always kind of like them. But, but I genuinely think they could have a good chance, not winning the title next year, but a very good chance of even getting like, third next year. Mm-hmm. Because I think that they could even get it this year, I think, because I think they're only one point behind Chelsea, and Chelsea yeah. aren't really performing too well just now. Let me just check. They are... Yeah, they're only one... Yeah. I didn't know that. One point uh, I, think, I don't think Spurs are too far behind them either, but the North mm. London Derby's coming up as well, so go and watch that, and I think I'll definitely watch that game. If, not, if a Celtic game isn't on at the same time, that is, but that is... I will definitely... I, I, I think I would even try and go and get an Arsenal ticket at his Champions League. Yeah, either. Uh, I mean, I just to say, I'd, I mean, I'd try and get a Celtic one and an Arsenal one, I think. I just to think that, I know we're kind of off track here, but still, Arsenal at the start of the season were really bad. I think, I think pretty much like Celtic, I, they, they were, were relegation. Yeah. They were in a relegation zone at the yeah. start of the year. I think, I think everybody thought they were going to be the Everton of the team. Mm-hmm. And everybody th- was calling for Mick Gerrard to get sacked and... Why have we signed this Aaron Ramsdale for twenty five million pounds when he's basically been a flop at Sheffield and Bournemouth? Yeah, and you know just what he's done at the club as well. Done. I know Mike Elliott has been a he used to play for Danger, but fair play, he's, yeah. he's changed a lot. And pretty much like Ange Postecoglou at Celtic, he, we were sixth in the table in September. Ben, we've mm. managed to come back from that Livingston defeat when we were sixth in the table to nearly getting the title party done. Beginning. Um, but just to kind of talk about Ange Postecoglou, Ben, he's been named, not not only has he got one Manager of the Year trophy, a double for Ange Postecoglou, he's got Scottish FWAA's Manager of the Year. What a, what a de- it's a debut season for... I know. That's, uh, I, he's kind of like... I hope he doesn't do a Wim Janssen where he just leaves after mm, one season. Yeah. I, I, I don't want him to come in and just go, ah, right, I've done my job, be the way I ruin my legacy and all that. Yeah. I hope he stays, and I think he, he says he will try and stay because... I don't really think he's going to leave unless he gets a job from yeah. like, somewhere, Manchester City I or Manchester United. To be fair to him, I, I, I genuinely think he could because I think Man City are trying to. I think Pep Guardiola might be going for Brazil. John Brazil? Nah, I, I think that's who the Brazil were after because I, mm-hmm. I think it's Tito's the name of the guy that runs a Brazilian team. Mm-hmm. He 
he's um, I think he's leaving at the uh, end of the next World Cup. So, I um, so I, I think Pep's going there because Celtic and obviously the Andrews affiliated with the City Group. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, a high chance that looking at him, he could go. <laughs> I know, and it'll be really, it'll be a sad day when he does go, but. There is a big question around Ben. I think he's on a yeah, twelve month contract, Ange. Um I don't know when well well he got appointed in mid June, just after yeah, just about a couple of days after my birthday. I was like I was stuck you know, a birthday last year Ben was not good to be a Celtic fan, so let's just <laughs> um let's just know that one. But I so twenty seven oh, twenty seven or something like that, so twelve months, he should be nearly coming up to an, a, like getting this contract, Ben, surely. You know, if we don't get yeah. offers from Man City <laughs> Um, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I mean, I don't think we could replace him with anything else. I mean, no. I think, looking back, I think Eddie Howe could have done a good job, yeah. but I don't think he could have done a good job as Ange did, because looking at the players he brought in, he brought in, mm. without him we wouldn't have had Carter Vickers, we wouldn't have had Jota, we wouldn't have Kyogo, Maida, Hatate. we'd ended yeah. up having like John Joe Shelby, and I don't know, like David Brooks and... Oh, who aren't bad footballers, yeah. but I, I think John Joe Shelby's doing class at Newcastle just now. Yeah. But, uh, you know, they might not even crack it in Scotland, but I think yeah. everybody was thinking the same about um, Kyogo and Neda and Abad and all that, you know, just relatively unknown signings, but he knows his stuff, so. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I don't, as I talked about Eddie Howe, I don't think you'd have went in that market, like a Japanese market, you know, even, as you said, been down south to Carter Vickers, even Jota. You know, I don't think we'd have got those players if Eddie Howe was in. Um, yeah. I think he might have done a good job, but I, I just don't see him. I was I was screaming from it. I don't, I, you know, I knew, I know he did well at Bournemouth, keeping up for so long, you know, that stuff. But if you yeah, look at... He took them from, when you see what he, the job he did at Bournemouth, he get, like manager of the decade, he took them from administration in League 2 yeah. to Premier League football in about six seasons. Yeah. So you can't not ignore that yeah. as just something unreal yeah definitely and he probably would have did a good job but who's who can say I, that Celtic of uh, I can say it now I, was, I wasn't I was too happy at the time with the back you know I didn't really know too much about him but they've done a fantastic piece of business with Ange and what he's done with the transfers and all so he's really changed a team you know he really has and under a season which Rangers could not well I know Steven Gerrard did it but he didn't do it in one season he did it when did he do I don't even know when he came in. Two I think season. it took him like three years. Three, yeah, three years. To, yeah, to, to even get close to winning the league. Team. Yeah. And he did it. And I, I, I don't even think he would have won it last year if we had the team that we had now. No. I, I know there's going to be a lot of... I know, I don't <laughs> just want to watch now, but I know there's going to be a lot of angry Rangers fans watching going, oh, shut up, you bit. I mean, talk about angry Rangers fans, Ben. I've got one on my um, match day vlog and... Um, let's read it out. Let's wait, let's expose you, Rangers fan. David Cameron won did he at League Cup compared to Europa final. What? Uh, I mean, I don't think you'd be saying that at the start of the season. I mean, I really don't think so. Um, I mean, what's his name? David Cameron won. Yes. I mean, David Cameron just came. <laughs> I didn't. Re I didn't realize. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that until I. Oh, I mean, come on! I I, I don't I, I don't get this. I know Ben that the league. I know they're in Europe League final, but apparently the the league didn't matter to them at the start of the season. Yeah. Oh, uh, stupid! Isn't it? <laughs> and I know, as I say, they're in Europe League final, but still, you'd have liked to win the league with it. I mean, surely. Um, I, and we were talking about it, Ben last time uh, the, yeah, before the Hearts game. I, I was telling you about Seville and um, I think so. I um. And we went to Seville and we won, we won nothing that season. I don't think so, anyway. Um, nah. Well, it's just, you just got to look at everything that we've done. And we've, we are the better team in Scotland, in my opinion. That's all I'm going to say. They can have their Europa League final, they can have their League Cup final, but we've got, oh sorry, they can have their Scottish Cup final, but yeah. we've got League Cups, we've got well, the Champions of Scotland. So, you know what, let them have it. Let yeah. them have their fun. And, and hopefully they even get to Seville. And I know a lot of people are going that I know to Seville yeah. and they get beat. But <laughs> we've seen it happen before. They do yeah. cause riots. And it happened in 2008 with the big screen cut out in Manchester and they were all rioting. Yeah. But 
hopefully they get beat and they take it graciously, but looking at them, I don't they'll take it graciously, are they? <laughs> <laughs> what a flight that would be back. I wouldn't let you fly in back to you for something. I wouldn't let you be the flight attendant on that flight going back. <laughs> Maybe. Um, but I, I mean, fair play, I know they've done a, a good job in Europe, but domestically, I know they've got a Scottish Cup final. What have they, What else have they done? I mean, have they really done it in this seat? I know they've got, oh, I can say, a domestically wise Scottish Cup final, but challenging Celtic, they were six points ahead, even though when Gio Van, Gio Van Bonkers came in, that's changed to six points for Celtic in practically a title now. Um, yeah. Which is, if I was, I was a Rangers fan, I'd be happy to win Europe final and Scottish Cup final, but I'd be worrying about the league. Because next season, we've got a good budget now, hopefully with the league title yep. in Champions League football, which should be another eye for players coming to Celtic. And, uh, but that shouldn't be the main thing. It should be just playing for the you know Celtic. But um, it's going to be a massive summer again. But it's on the daily record, Ben. We love the daily record, don't we? I, I do obviously do the, the back pages sometimes on the channel. And I've got one today, and it says, uh, near the end, hoops a point from flag glory, but... Uh, beat on set to quit after nine years at the club. So let's talk about it, Ben. Uh, ben, I, you're not Scott Ben, but yeah. <laughs> let's talk about it, Ben. Um, beat on. What's happening, Beat on from Kieran Tierney? Uh, um, would you be see, sad to see him go after nine years at the club? Yeah, he's a great squad player. Uh, I think he, he, he he's kind of loose again. He he came in, he's done his job. He's a bit of a fan favourite. And he leaves, and he leaves with what will that be like ten league titles or something? Yeah, like, near something like that. Uh, he'll leave with a lot of league titles, Champions League football, Europa League football, Conference League football. He'll, he's basically played in every competition yeah. in Europe he can play in. And who knows? He'll go back to Israel or something, like that and he'll enjoy his last days of football. And if he does, then fair play him. But I genuinely think he still get good enough talent to continue playing with us because we use him as a holding midfielder. Mm-hmm. And he, he plays deep and he likes to play from the back and he kind of fits our style just now that we've got where we, um, we play from the back with the passing from the keeper and I, I, that's just the way we've been playing and he fits that style perfectly so finding a replacement for him is going to be pretty hard it's capable but it is going to be pretty hard but with 40 million in the budget as well it's going to help us out a lot so yeah. I, I think it would be sad to back him but he is replaceable so yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He is 30, he is thinking of returning in the summer to Israel after nine years in Glasgow. He's he's on the verge of collecting, I didn't know this, it's on the daily record here, eighth Premiership winner's medal in, with the hoops and his 18th honour overall after playing part a big part of the clubs in the club's decade of dominance. Um, he's weighing off his from his homeland with Maccabee Tel Aviv and Maccabee ha- Havia, I want to say. I see his teams with the dodgy names, not going to harm. Yeah. Uh, I talked about on the social media, Ben, but uh, Beto, oh my God, Beto and h- hinted at the weekend his time at the club was coming to an end as he posted pictures on his social media saying what a journey it's been. So do you take anything from that, ba- ba- has he been, I was talking about it Ben a minute ago, but what? how underrated has he been? You know, I know a lot of fans get kicked to go because he makes some stupid challenges, but he's been really, I think he's been an underrated part of the season to be fair. Um, I think that, I know he's got that narrative of being, oh, the send off right away, all that. You know what I mean? But he's been talking about it. He's been really solid this season. I thought when he when he has taken one. Um, yeah, he's he's made a difference, and I think he's a sort of player that uh, he's a good utility player. If you know what I mean, because mm-hmm. we can use him as a centre back as well as a centre mid and a centre defensive midfielder. So he just he gets into people's faces, and I think he caused a lot of bother against Rangers as well when we bet him. The, it was the second time he was playing. The Hitate game and he scored two goals. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he was playing now, yeah. He basically stopped them from uh, running in and getting go- their cheeky wee penalty goals because he yeah. was just going right through them. He was taking no nonsense and that's all you can really ask for a player. Yeah. Um, and talking about, obviously, people who early even... Well, he left last uh, last year, Ben. It was Scott Brown, a, a former captain, and he officially retired on the weekend there. Um, how much... Celtic, I've seen, no, I don't think Celtic have missed. I think they have, have, but Carmack's really stepped in. But um, how much? I mean, he's been practically part of my generation of watching Celtic. Ben, how's he been as a captain for Celtic? And is he really showing 
way we've watched the kill Matt now, how to be a captain for Celtic? Well, looking at Bruni, I think he's I think he's literally up there as probably one of the greatest captains in Celtic football club's history. Yep. Apart from players like Billy McNeil, uh, I think Paul McStay was a captain for about an hour. Yeah. I'd probably want to get hounded for that if there wasn't it, but I think he was up there no, as well. No, I think he was. Uh, well, it was either him or Danny McGrain, I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, looking that up. <laughs> I've tried, but on you uh, go, keep going, Ben, if you uh, want. Um, players that have came to the club and they've given so much, but I think it's just the the raw talent of Scott Baby he was a no nonsense I, I know the word's a bit comical just now but he was a bit of a Brexit defender like holding midfielder wasn't he he took yeah. no nonsense in day. he's got that moment with El Hadji Juf um, yeah. where he's got his hands up um, with Ryan Kent as well he had a bit of yeah. a rivalry same as Morelos he just he couldn't care what he done it, as long as it was for the team yeah. and he gave everything for the badge and Yeah. I, I honestly think he'd it, to be fair, I think he's probably the best captain this team's ever had. Yeah, he's got to be. Uh, he is, he was, you talked about saying Jock Steen was, he was a captain. Um, mm-hmm. Paul McStay was, Jack McMara, Jim, Jimmy McStay and all that kind of leash. Um, but aye, and the only reason I'm talking about Brown as well after the age of retirement, there is speculation of him to hand the trophy to uh, Cal McGregor next week. Would I think that'd be sensational. I think that it just passes on the generation from a one of the best captains, if not the best captain we've seen at Celtic, to Calmac, you know, the, the, the new captain of Celtic. So, do you think Celtic should potentially do that, Ben, just to show a, a bit of respect for both sides, maybe, or something like that? Yeah, I, th- I think it would be... I think it would be a good gesture with both sides, but obviously bringing Bruno back to have to, to give the cup to Cal McGregor as well, be, I think everybody would erupt in the stadium. Yeah. It'd be like, I don't know, just seeing... It'd be great to see him back because he's it was best, you know, I know Carmack's done a great role I've seen, but you know, you can feel it sometimes that, you know, he would be there somewhere just sticking in um somewhere. But talking about I'll go back to Ange, uh, Ben and his former side South Melbourne, uh, simply by wearing a Celtic anything Celtic, you can go in for free at their game on Friday night. I mean that's incredible. I think that's great. That is, yeah, that's a lovely <laughs> gesture of happening. Yes. Um, yeah. So if you're over in Melbourne, just wear something Celtic, even if it's you know a, a dodgy yeah. shop, just get it. Yes. Um, we should get exclusive live stream to the South Melbourne. Uh, get some merch going. <laughs> uh, I've had merch in the past. It's just uh, oof, yeah. not going too well. I try and get some, but I I don't know what it'd be. Uh, we could get a Bovril one, but you know what I mean. Uh, Bovril merch. Yeah. As if we can get uh, clearance from the yeah. company. Yeah. Let's make it. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, um, before we talk about Dun United, Ben, obviously, a point would do it in a title. Um, Ranger, we're talking about Rangers in the Europa League. Um, I, I, it would be, I'm not you know, putting up to the sky and say, oh, it's the best achievement ever, but it would be a good achievement for Rangers, no doubt about it. But there's some journalists saying it would, ecl- it would eclipse Lisbon Lions win the, the Champions League. I mean, come on. Yeah. Um, you know, Alex Ferguson describes it, Lisbon Lions triumph as the greatest achievement in the history of football. And it'll never be done again. Like, Yeah, uh, Rangers can have their Europa League, but the uh, Europa League isn't as good as 30 players who were born. No, 30 players, sorry. A team that was born 30 miles yep. from Parkhead. Uh, I think by the exclusion of Bobby Lennox, who was born in Solcoats. Uh, yeah. But Although I think that's still in a 30 mile radius. Anyways, back to what I'm saying. Um, basically, homegrown players who hadn't played for pretty much anybody else bar Celtic. Mm-hmm. And then just, you know, beating the likes of Inter Milan. Yeah. And, you know, just, and you look at Rangers' side, right? I know we're a, we're a bit for this as well. But we've got a lot of foreign players now as well. But Rangers have got what? Morelos, you know, Kent. Yeah, even like Tavernier, yeah. Tavernier, you know, a very small percentage of their team is from Scotland, I think. What, well, Alan McGregor? Jack. Uh, uh, Jack. Scott Wright. Scott Arfield as well, he uh, plays for Canada, but he is Scottish. Um, that's about it. I think, I yeah, pretty much it. So there's no homegrown players there? Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, Apart yeah. Apart from maybe Alan McGregor. Yeah. Uh, it'd be fair to Alan McGregor if they do win 
I, I wouldn't be that bothered for him getting it because he's been through kind of thick and thin that team as well when they get went went into administration. Yeah. And as much as I'm supposed to not like him, you know, he was a Scotland keeper for a long while and he, he was good for Scotland. He's like, he's a very good keeper. So yeah. Aye. Showing respect for the other team, you know, and mm. uh, congratulating the keeper because he's a, he is a brilliant keeper. Yeah, fair play. He was. He was. Um, I had him in my team. At, oh, I don't excel to it. We're going to have a, a goalkeeper team this season last year, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did have him as my team that uh, goalkeeper this season. Uh, but talking about the talking about the thing we're talking about, Ben. I mean, Celtic, the Lisbon Lions beat like the Swiss champions, uh, the champions of France, champions of uh, Switzerland, Yugoslavia, uh, who had eliminated Atletico Madrid, champions of. Czechoslovakia, who had eliminated Ajax, champions of Italy, who had won two of the last three finals, we're talking about in it in Milan, and eliminated the holders, Real Madrid. Yeah. Um, obviously Celtic then went on defeated, defended a crown in the Bernabeu by beating Real Madrid, as well as winning all five available trophies that season. I mean, that's... Just, we were just unlucky to lose the final in 1970, yeah. but that's, that's after the times of what like, uh, Billy McNeil and that. That was, that was around the time where like, Kenny Douglas was coming in to start to become a more forward like, thinking player. Yeah, he, was, he was starting a lot more. It wasn't the same team, you know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if Jock's team was still there, was he? I don't know if he'd mm. left by that time. I'm not 100% sure. There, but I, I know he left to manage Scotland later on in his career, but even at that, you know, mm. to get to two European finals. Yeah. in three years and I know it was well over like, what 50 years ago but it's still a great achievement yeah definitely I just want we're talking about Europe and all that stuff before we do it on the United to kind of wrap up the video um, they've done a thing here it's Football Scotland I've combined Celtic's side that went to Seville and obviously the Rangers side this season that went to Seville so we'll start with goalkeeper um, we're talking about him there I, you know Rab Douglas is up there but who would you go f- if Rab Douglas I pro- would you go for Al McGregor, Ben, yeah? Yeah, I'd probably be Al McGregor. In fact, no. Craig Gordon, I'd say. Mm. No, we're talking about that uh, the side that went to uh, Seville with Celtic. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, sorry, I, no. sorry I, I blanked it there. I, I'd probably be Al McGregor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right back, um, Celtic. I don't even know who Celtic had then. I don't know. Um, but they've went for Javens Tavani, I, I would imagine. Yeah, to be fair, if you can remember who the right back yeah, was, he probably wasn't that good. Um, yeah, then he's probably one of the <laughs> legendary team that we can remember. Yeah, but. there's no doubt for me the centre back, Bobo Baldy. No doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. Bobo is going to get you. I, w- I wish he. I wish we had a defender like I know he's probably like Carter Vickers these days. You know, he just yeah, um, no nonsense again. Aye. Doesn't um, imagine. Obviously, if Rangers fans you'd want going to Goldson, but even though we're like called Bobo Baldy, come on now. I prefer Calvin Bassett to Conor Goulson. Conor Goulson's is a shambles this in the back. Yeah, he's, he's, I don't know, he's <laughs> just over the place, I think, sometimes. But yeah. centre-back, the other centre-back, Johan Mialbe, I, I don't think there's any much doubt about that either. Um, he was there as well, he's brilliant as well. Uh, Left-back, they went for Bona Barisic. Why? Barisic? Why? I don't, yeah. why? I... <laughs> I, it doesn't say the Celtic. Why, I don't know why it doesn't say the Celtic left back at the time. Who would that yeah. be? I don't. I, I wouldn't have known. Uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. You know, they uh, must not be that good if they, they're not getting in the team. I know Bona Barrett's been in Tapia, but jeez. Mm-hmm. I know he did. He says he started over the two legs over at Leipzig. I get that, but like, yeah, yeah, that's not much an achievement. Mm. He's not even that good, is he? Yeah, I mean, I, I talk about Greg Taylor's better than <laughs> I know. I'm a bit of a yeah. Greg Taylor fanboy, but I don't even. I think many people are that big a fan of him as I am, but mm. even even they could agree he's better than. Aye, um, I seen like my uncle. He's he's, he's seen it like it's a old game. He, he never went, but he saw it and he's talking about this guy Didier Agath. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's a Frenchman and a right winger. Oh, you talk about Jota and Maeda. Oh, this guy was according to my uncle, he was brilliant. Um, under him, he was brilliant, and he, he played a big part of that success that period when they did go to Seville and. Um, all that stuff. Um, right wing, so he's above Kent. I want to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Must be. Yeah, uh, centre mid, Paul Lambert. Um, oh, definitely, yeah, Paul Lambert. I, yeah, I, 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 I get. Oh, they've put left wing rank in. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. Stan Petrov. Yeah, I know. I, I don't like that. Or did he leave for Aston Villa at that time? No, I'm sure. 
No, Wait, he. I'm, I'm gonna get grass. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Um, we'll, we'll do that. They're talking about the other centre mid. Well, Ben's Google on this. Um, to fight with John Lundstrom. That's a joke. That's a joke. <laughs> He should not. He shouldn't even been a dangerous team. Never mind. I, they're singing a song. John Lundstrom is the best on earth. I mean, come on. I it's like it, Stan Petrov was playing. Yeah, and he's a midfielder. So how is Stan Petrov not on that team? So why they why have they put John Lundstrom? Oh my, they haven't watched football. That's Lundstrom, it. I know they've put John Lundstrom. Oh, Stan Petrov. That's Jesus. shocking. Uh, left wing they've went Ryan Kent and uh, I didn't say the Celtic winger, striker no doubt about it. Chris Sutton. Um, He's brilliant, him. Um, and he's still brilliant these days on Twitter with the band of the Rangers fans and that. Another striker, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Henrik Larson, no doubt about it. Aye. Um, you could, if you even tried to put Minelos or Scott Ray, <laughs> you'd, you'd be bullied off the street, wouldn't you? Yeah, aye. You've got to admit, like, you can say that Alan McCoy was brilliant, and see, to be fair, Alan McCoy was brilliant, mm. in my opinion. He was a brilliant footballer. You can say that, I don't know. Uh, was it Michael Moles? I think say so, he yeah. was good. You can say a whole crowd of Rangers players and Celtic players, to be fair, as well, were good. But you cannot say that Henrik Larson, Henrik Larson is the best player ever played in the Scottish Premiership. Yeah, definitely. Um, and before we get into the United game, Ben, the preview, um, the other thing on oh, Celtic, can I do it most every. I, well, I've got Des and Maida and Ralston answer me back, but there's one about Ange Postecoglou this week, and who, what kind of question would you ask Ange Postecoglou if he did, if he did pick you? What kind of question would you ask him, Ben, before we go and done United? Oh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I tell you, uh, if I can get it up again, I actually forgot what question I, I put in. Um, yeah. I put in right. So, so I put in. Does it make you? Because he, he did say us in like a post match interview, but I just wanted to see if he answered. Hopefully, he does. Does it make you happy when you make others like supporters and players happy? Also, have you tried any Scottish cuisine yet? Wonder if it, wonder if he does. It's always about food, isn't it? <laughs> Even though it's not a podcast, we do get it out there. Um, we always do. I think he's maybe he's tried a a full a full Scottish. I mean, a full I full English, but full Scottish. I wonder if he's tried it. Yeah, um, I'd probably ask him if he could manage any other team other than Celtic mm. and teams he's previously managed. Who would it be? That's a good one. Well, that's a good one. Um, we'll see, we'll see. If you want, Ben, we could put it. We'll put it in there. Um, see if it yes, gets answered. Um, I'll do it right now. But I, Ben, only donated. We only the point. We will we'll take this in. Um, for the, for the title party to begin, would you give any more uh, players a rest for the type the last game of the season? Bring any players in? What would you like to do? For that game on Wednesday, um, I would bench Tate definitely because, see, to be fair, yeah, bench Tate, yeah, yeah, we just need one. Don't we? There's no doubt about it. Just get out there, secure it, just get it done. Yeah, um, just putting that. Oh. There we go. Uh, that's that tweet sent. So hopefully one of our tweets do get back to us. Um, I've seen we'll a few of them. Yeah, you've done. Have actually been answered. Like Anthony and Alex Yeah, I, I've been You're surprised. On the TV as well. Yeah, I was. It's actually funny enough, Ben. You mentioned that it was a year ago today. I did that. Oh, was it? Yeah. Um, it did come I up. I was watching that as well. Yeah, well, it did. I just I I wasn't even watching it, but for you, I was just watching it, and then I saw you pop up. <laughs> <laughs> I was so surprised. <laughs> Yeah, um, it came up in my memory. Some like they come up and um, I didn't even know I was gonna get picked. I just put a video and was like, ah, I probably not get picked, but I did. Uh, and I did, I've still got that Celtic shirt that's up there. Um, Is that the signed one? Yeah. Um, uh, I I remember that video where you <laughs> was it no you you sent away to all the team and yeah, like a lot of teams in Scotland and you try to get a signed shirt. Oh aye aye. aye aye. I mean, I'm surprised yeah, Bayern Munich gave me a card, but I was like, well. Uh, that is, to be fair, that is pretty. Yeah. I were, mean, they, were they like, real signed signatures or was it like a photocopy thing? What, the Bayern Munich one? Um, yeah. I think that was just like a photocopy one. I mean, I, I didn't expect oh, much. But it, uh, uh, Everton was re- the real, uh, it was real, but it was just like the goalkeeper coach. It was um, Johnny Kenny, kind of funny enough, we had him last year. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
else, I don't know what else, but I that was the kind of colours I got. Um, I just thought if the guy who started it was uh, good and he's got millions of views on his one, but I, I kind of got yeah. it from him. And it kind of worked, kind of worked. Um, but I've still got that Celtic shirt, and it's the only Celtic shirt that has shamed off a uh, Diego Laxal. Uh, um, what else can I think of? Like the obvious ones, you want to think, I Shane Duffy's very obvious. Uh, Christie's up there. Like the one that's very obvious, like the signature is David Turnbull. Yeah. Uh, Welsh. Craig Taylor's very obvious and all, but I. So, some of them are just all the scribbles, man, like when you see it. I would like to see if they have numbers there, but. Nah. Um, but I, would you just rest a tatty then, Ben, really, again, yeah? Yeah, uh, it's, it's not for anything as in, like. I don't think you could do well. It's just everybody knows he's tired. Yeah. So you just need to give him a rest. I would you honestly. Know, a couple of games left. Just. Yeah. Get him to jail. That's what I would say. I would. I, that's what I was going to say. I, mean, I would honestly just let him rest. That's it. Just let him have his rest now. I think because we've cracked. I know I'm saying, you know, we've got a kind of bit to go, but still, I think we've still got a lot. You know, a, a great good PC precinct to go. I'd just let him rest these two games. Get a good preseason and then he'll be firing again. Um. Would you bring anybody in the team? You should get the Gucci's up there, or would you just keep that same team that was put out from Ange at the weekend? Uh, I don't know. So that team was... Oh, was the same team. Same team. So, yeah, I mean, Tumble played a good game. I really had this unbelievable game. Uh, Defence... Yeah. Uh, Defence, even though they made up mis- the mistake for the goal, but except from that, Brown all game, uh, or it's the rest of the game. I mean, uh, you're at Ralph and stepped in when Juranovic has been injured. Same with same situation with Atati. Juranovic, I would just let him rest. Um, I, I would, I would do the same as well. Gave Ralph's done a couple of games to Kinder. Yeah. He's, again, I, I, I've said that hundreds of times today, but I'll say it again. It's not that he's not good enough for the team. It's just mm-hmm. he was a bit of in his position. Yeah, that's it. Um, and I, I think, I think we've kind of covered it. I mean. Ben, we're going to, I was, I was talking to you in school about it, if we can get it done, we will try and, um, on Wednesday night, the kickoff is, ha- I thought it was 8 o'clock, it's half 7, wow, oh, because it's on Sky, ah, get it now, um, Dundee United have got some good players out, they've got Butcher, Harks, McNulty, Paul and all that, but they do have like this ex-Celtic player, McGrew, and they've got good players up there, no doubt about it, um, but, um, let's go to it Ben, score prediction, um, I'm gonna go for one nil. I don't. I think it'll be a close game. Uh, I think it'll be. Uh, I'm gonna say two nil. Two nil. Okay. Fancy. Um, as I said, it. We were talking about in school. Uh, viewers on the channel. We might have it. We might not. We depend on what we see. We might have a watch along for the game. We'll need to see how it goes. But fingers crossed, we'll have something anyway. Uh, we're gonna have a podcast with Dave. Uh, oh, the guy had. We had the people had last week. With Darren, David, yeah. we obviously well, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. From, uh, Dominic Hawkins. Yes. Uh, that'll be on Thursday after the game. So if we don't get the watch along done, we will have the podcast on Thursday. So don't worry about that, guys. We will have a videos for the channel. Um, but just talking about before, Ben, I know, I know it's not a podcast, but I do have a quiz for you, Ben. You're a man. You know, you've got to get I'm it done. King of the quizzes. Yeah. You know what? Next season, I'm going to actually start, like, like proper a table and it will whoever comes on will need to, uh, yeah need to get a table for it but I um uh, need to up but I um talking about uh, before we get the quiz Ben my career on YouTube has been from like just me and Lewis talking a load of rubbish from literally I I wasn't even doing Celtic videos at the time I was uh, also, I, it was still game live show still <laughs> uh, I was I was I'm not even kidding on. I was literally watching that five minutes ago. I was looking for your old videos. <laughs> I'm not even joking because I was seeing what I was seeing what they were like, uh, and that like sounded a bit weird. But that's not. Really, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but I was I was looking through them because I wanted to see if you still kind of sounded the same from what you did oh, like five years. Jesus, no, I, I seen one with you and Lewis and Ethan Dillon at a Morton game. <laughs> Aye, and then we, um, it's I think it's up on the channel. Me, Luca, and Ethan did um. The Netto Olympics. Oh, that was... <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. It was just at my back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that was that was peak YouTube for me, man. That was honestly was. Um... 
I'd say this is beat you too far. Ah, You'll get like 2,000 views yep. every match they vlog. Yep. You can't agree with that. And see, to be fair, you're only going to climb if you keep at it. Yeah. And I like the comments. I, I, ben, it's great to have you in the show and all that. But it's also great to like, hear people that we kinda, I don't kind of know, like, per- like friends-wise or that. So this guy comes on. I'll give him a shout. It's Joe Roberts. You know what I mean? Um, he says, come on the hoops. Um, great job, man. There's also a couple of comments and all. Yeah. Keep up the good work. He also gives a tip. You know, he says, I think your recording uh, phone's a bit low. Yeah. But I, I mean, I'll turn it up, make sure. I did this time here. Um, <laughs> just make sure. I did that in the past, by the way. I, I turned it up. But then I didn't, I forgot to press on mute. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Um, and I recorded like a, a video, a really good video with Lewis. And uh, it was probably the only Aww. good video. So I made by um, with Lewis. And uh, um, well, let's just say that the video. Um, it was up by one of the worst moments of YouTube, just got to say that, but I, <laughs> um, I, but then, and then I did do match day vlogs, by the way, I did, um, when was it, uh, like, even, like, Brendan Rogers, but I wasn't too much into it, like, I was, the videos were uh, really, it was uh, kind of just, like, the cold matches and that one. Aye, um, and then, which I think, uh, lockdown happened, basically, oh, we did the Neil Lennon, kind of, ma- the, like that season twenty nineteen, the nine row season then lockdown happened. I didn't really, I didn't even do a video until July twenty 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 twenty. Like March twenty twenty and then I should have did a video like saying we should have won the we won the champions, uh we were champions and all that, but I don't know, just fell out it a bit. Um yeah. and then got back in it and obviously Ben and obviously everybody's came on and helped the show and all that. It's been fantastic and really appreciate it because I don't think I'd be there like here where I'm now without any any of you guys supporting the channel so thanks for that um, things are tape <laughs> <laughs> I've all honestly you know it's, it's been it's been clasping on you know yeah. it's, it's, it's given me something to do and you know you know what it looks like it's not much a, a joyous place so I come on I, I sit and talk for hours about something that I love yeah that's it so, you know and I talk to a mate while doing it so that's it it's just, it's just clasping on yeah and obviously we get David and that one now, and yeah. you know, Dom and that. So, you know, it's only when I get bigger. And looking at your views, you know, you're getting, what, what 2K views on a video. Yeah. And as I said, it's only going to get higher if you just keep going at it. Mm. Yeah, and we're, we're talking about the last podcast about something to do for the summer, Ben, like a, maybe shorter episodes, but outside, because I want to do something outside. I've got, I think they're getting equipment, like mic, you know, the wee mics people have. Um, yeah, yeah. I think they get, it's not that dear from Amazon, it's like £15 or something like that. Uh, but they're decent kind of mics you put on and they connect to my phone but um, I think they're kind of doing something like that for um, like uh, shorter videos during the summer and that and obviously um, future on maybe there is a studio I, I've talked about ages ago Ben when I have the, the studio up in Glasgow there's a one up in Glasgow yeah G4 claims that like the rate is £30 an hour like we only do well unless David and Darren's on no, uh, uh, two hours but it's £30 an hour I mean I think that's like, well, it depends. How much do you make a video? I mean, a, a pound, but like, like I'm a, a pound. I'm, I, listen, listen, listen right, right. I'm already <laughs> under thirty pound, right? I could handle that, right? But I was expecting more. Like I was expecting like a hundred or something like. That, you know what I mean? But thirty pound an hour is good, right? Um, and it's good That's studio. Not, they give you all the yeah. equipment. You don't need to bring anything. Um, I think they give like they edit for you and all. Like that's it. Oh, do they? Yeah. Um. That's so. Cool. Um, we'll, we'll probably do that someday as well um, if we can get around to it as well but I definitely was try to do something for the summer guys uh, like shorter episodes but good episodes with anybody who wants to come on Dom Darren David anybody um, and you know I'll always be happy to be on yes and Ben yes of course I'm Q Keevans we can't forget that some like that or a you know I can't type with them or something. <laughs> unless something drastic happens I'll be on yes every week Yes, um, but it is time, Ben, for you to face the quiz. Um, also, talking about Hugh Keevens, we're going to try. I've not tried it before, but should try and get a phone in one night. We should. Um, oh, I, I'm <laughs> we should just we should just self promote. <laughs> we should, um, and we'll. Tr- I'll try and get that sorted. Um, just get a phone in and all that stuff, and you could be Hugh Keevens with your cold beans. Just, um, <laughs> oh, just thinking about that is that it's good. Um, but I bet it's time for you to face the quiz. It is the one versus hearts, so 
uh, the weekend there. So who's the only Celt to have scored twice against Hearts this season? Uh, Atate, Furuhashi, or Abada? Kyogo? Yes, it is Kyogo. I don't know why I said just Furuhashi. I don't know why it was just... I think, ah, it is Kyogo. He scored um, yet, yet on Saturday and obviously the Premier Sports Cup uh, earlier on the season. Um, who is the only player from this trio not to have played for both clubs? This is a, a hard question here. Andy Lynch, Johans Evaldenson, or John Colquhoun? Ah, uh, jeez. Why are they going I to don't know any of them. I'll go for the first one. Andy Lynch, it is. The second one, Johans. Well, I wouldn't have got that. Nope. I have mean, got that either. Uh, Celtic Hearts met in, Ham- in the Hampton Cup in 19... Oh, why is he so... Ah, because I mentioned... Like 1947 or something. Oh, you're close to 1994. Uh, but in which country? <laughs> New Zealand or Canada? What? Canada. It is? Canada? I, 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 I kind of had an inclination because I think a lot of Scottish people went to Canada so mm-hmm. they didn't good for money. Which did? Which club did Craig Gordon play? Uh, that's, 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 that's not right. They spelled that wrong. Play for between his stints at Celtic and Hearts. So which club did they play for between his stints at Celtic and Hearts? Was it Birmingham City, Sunderland or Middlesbrough? Sunderland. Yes, it was Sunderland. Three so far. How many? He, se- got, he got injured and then went out three and then he came back. I remember that. Aye, I remember. I remember seeing him there. Uh, how many Celts have scored against Hearts this season? Four, three, or six? So how many Celts have scored against Hearts this season? Um. Well, that's what Jack Marcus has scored. Kyogo scored. Yep. If you name the players, that's fine. You certainly must keep go. We've got one, two, six. Yeah. Um, Ralston, Edward, Welsh, Kyogo, Itate, and Yakimakis. So that's four so far. Uh, Cal McGregor has scored how many times against Hearts? Uh, five, six, or four? Five. Five it is six. One away. Uh, I didn't think you scored that many. I know he, he's not that you know one that's shooting, but I. Um, which was the last the last season Celtic Hearts didn't face each other in a league campaign? So, um, you're thinking Heart? When did Hearts get relegated? When did they not face them? Twenty eighteen nineteen or twenty 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 one? Twenty eighteen nineteen. No, it was last season. They relegated last season. Yeah. Were they? Yeah. So, so. Alright, this is this is went wrong, right? So it should have been what you said. Twi- would you say twenty eighteen nineteen? Twenty eighteen nineteen. So it was pretty pretty much that season when they went down. Oh, it was before lockdown. Never mind. Um, but they've put this wrong. It was it was actually twenty nineteen twenty. Remember the they were bottom of the league and then COVID stopped it. And I that makes I that makes yeah. sense. I I yeah. Twenty. I don't. I don't know. They were the good, went into the league one then. I know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Confused. I know. It's a Celtic. Uh, blame it on the Celtic. It wouldn't be me. Wouldn't be Clyde one. It wouldn't be for us. Uh, it's the Celtic uh, admins. So bl- get right to them. Former Celt Stephen Presley was joint caretaker manager of Hearts for a spell in two thousand five. But but who with John McGlynn, Stevie Fail or Paul Hartley? These questions Paul are. Hartley. Paul Hartley say aye. Oh, aye. It is John McGlynn. I wouldn't have. Honestly, if I wouldn't see the answers, I wouldn't have got that. Uh, who is the only Celtic to have scored two hat-tricks against Hearts in the same calendar year? Uh, Hen Larson, Jim McCro- Jimmy McCrory, or Brian McClare? Oh. So, I'll, I'll give you a clue. It's not the obvious one, right? Right. So, it's either Jimmy McCrory or Brian McClare. Mm-hmm. Jimmy McCrory. You'd want, you'd, you know, obviously, 50-50 picked the wrong 50-50 if it, if, or wrong side of the 50 Ben it was Brian McClare in 1984 <laughs> I don't know like, I wasn't even alive <laughs> that time like, uh, come on don't blame me here Ben it's the uh... <laughs> I'm 15 right so you take away from my age you take away 15 and it's still not even 1984 oh oh what a quiz this has been and who squared the ball for Yakimaka's goal at Tynecastle so back in late January? Was it Jota, Abada or Matt O'Reilly? Then we get the 5 out of 10. 
It's was this at the start of the season? Uh, no, it was just January uh, there. Yeah. Um, a badder. Oh, is he going to get found at ten? No, it was Matt O'Reilly. Didn't expect that. I, didn't, I wasn't too sure because I didn't know if he couldn't play yet because he ah. just joined. Oh, no, I remember anyway, he, he, that's his debut. He came out, he actually he started that. Aye. Like, he, he signed like the couple of days early and then... And then he, um... You know, I just played like a couple of days later and then I would, means I would have won. Nah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Disgusting. Getting out of the club. Nah, I'm not kidding. Please, please uh, stay. Aye, um, well Ben, it was 4 out of 10, but it wasn't your best appearance, but you're still top anyway, in the league anyway, so, looking down on the, the other pundits on the show, um, so aye, um, Ben, uh, I know we're, we're, we're trying to keep it to a short video, Ben, I know we're in uh, 5 minutes, I mean that's... <laughs> <laughs> that just shows you a bit, you know, we don't really care how long we're on here, we that's it. have a good luck. And we're, right, but it's it's Monday night, and we've talked for an hour and five minutes about Celtic. I mean, that was incredible. Um, to wrap up, Ben, you did say two. I uh, you said two now. I said one now. Um, expecting Dundee United. And let me check the table. But um, Dundee United are fourth. Um, yeah, they can't do much. The Hearts are sixty-one. Yeah, the best they can do is fourth place, and they've got Mullow and Ross County in their back. So do you expect a tough? Uh, game from Dun United. They're, I think they're yeah, they're fighting for Europa League. Well, um, I think we, we drew them last time, didn't we? Uh, back in September, yeah, back in September. Yeah, we drew them. So, you know, they could put up a tough challenge, but I think we could beat them. Yeah, the last three matches we did come against them, we did one. The one at Celtic Park was the heart attack stuff. Leo Bada, 90, 90th minute winner. I lo- that was a brilliant goal. I mean, the cross, the goal... And then the recent one was obviously the Scottish Cup game at Tanner Dives for 1-3-0. Um, yeah. So, aye, we've got the better, you know, matches against them this season. But they will be tough. They're fighting for uh, Europa League conf- uh, qualification. They're fourth. Pl- I mean, that's mad to say, isn't it? Um, Ross yeah. County are up there now. You know, they're only three points off it. Um, it's, it's all because of the, uh, what do you call it, the... Oh. Basically, because Russia isn't doing it, we, yeah. we get their places. So, imagine. I mean, I know we saw Cole Malnock a couple of years ago getting put out by some Gibraltar. Oh, yeah, I remember that, yeah. I, I don't remember that as well. I think I was watching it. <laughs> but, I mean, see, to be fair to Cole Malnock, you get beat by a team from Gibraltar and then you can beat Galatasaray. So, yeah. I don't know how that works, but. Um, <laughs> you see, teams like Ross County and Dundee United, you know, that's a bit mental, isn't it? It is. It really is. Um... And it's, it would be crazy if it does happen. I mean, it's a good fairy tale story for Ross County, especially with Mark Mackay. But um, talking about Ange Postecoglou, Ben, to wrap up, he deserved the manager of the year twice. I mean, in his debut season, and um, Pedro Pedro Casinha will be giving the best of luck to us to wrap up the title. Of course, he will. Um, that was brilliant, man. When he had the Pedro Casinha, that was brilliant. I liked that. Yeah, it's <laughs> done. It's a free season, wasn't it? Oh, I mean, that was... What was that? Graeme Murray, Mark Warburton, Pedro Casinha, Graeme Murray again. Aye. Uh, who else did they have after that? I don't know. I don't even know who they had after that. Sorry, what are you saying now? Oh, I'm talking about the Rangers manager. Who did they have after Pedro Casinha? Was it Graeme Murray, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Graeme Murray. Aye. No, or was it? Was, was, it? was it Mark Warburton then? Graham I don't Martin? know. I know he made good bread, but that's... that's, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm more of a uh, Scottish plane myself. Ah, more, uh, more of a bagel guy from the canteen. <laughs> what do you have in your bagel? Do you have jam, butter, two butters, two jams? I like, I jam. prefer, I, have, <laughs> I like jam myself, you know. Uh, I'm kind of... I'm a bit of a deviant, you know. Sometimes I go for butter, sometimes mm. I go for jam. Uh, it depends what kind of day I'm on, you know. <laughs> oh, uh, what a pod! Oh, well, I say podcast. It's been a bit. We're just we're supposed to be talking, just talking about it, but we've managed to get over an hour. Um, but I, I've, I, I know I've went kind of. We we're talking before the quiz, been about personal stuff, but I like that because I like to open up and how they went. And I remember doing FIFA a bit like Ryan, you know, Ryan Fitzsimons, Ryan Wilmot, 
he did a Celtic Korean would I think that's really helped me go into like where we are now Ben like from career mode where I'm sitting I'm not even recording it on my PlayStation by the way I'm holding my phone and just <laughs> filming it with phone you uh, <laughs> That's why I was probably getting beat all the time by like on oh. career mode. <laughs> Oh god, that was the time. But I think that's really helped us going forward. And uh, as I say, we're talking about podcasts and uh, for the summer and all that stuff. We'll definitely try and get that done and um, growing further in the podcast stuff like that. We'll definitely try and get that uh, G Four Claims kind of studio. We'll try and see how that goes because it's I don't, where is it Glasgow? Where is it? Um, I, don't even, I didn't even know what it was, but it's somewhere in Glasgow, somewhere, but... Um, oh, well, it'll be good, eh? Uh, nonetheless, won't it? Aye. Um, I think it will be... It'll be different quality from Discord. You know, you'll, you'll see that in the summer when we do oh. it outside, but wait till you see when we get it finally, you know, up a level, up another level um, from Discord and all that stuff. But aye, um, I think we're going to leave it here today, Ben. Um, we've talked for over an hour about Celtic. I would say rubbish, but no, we've talked hardcore Celtic stuff. Um, I would have said that last season, but we've talked hardcore Celtic stuff. We've talked about everything we had to do, um, heading for Wednesday night's game. If anything comes up tomorrow and breaking news, we will hop on and if you're free, Ben, we will try and get something done. Uh, if not, Wednesday, Ben, if you're free, we'll try and get that watch along done. Um, if not, Wednesday, uh, Thursday night, keep an eye on the channel, guys. Podcast with, obviously, Hugh Evans. Uh, the whole coast, yeah. The coast, yes. Who'd be yeah, Jim Duffy? Who'd Dombey? Who'd he'd be Dom, wouldn't it? Hmm. Aye, I know, but like you could get like, <laughs> yeah, I know, but you could get like who else? Like Simon Donnelly's on it. Uh, mm. I'm God, what's Dom- his name? Oh, what's his name? Uh, Gordon, Gary, I Gordon, I got Gordon, there we go. Um, but I'm Gordon Duncan since I'm the you know, the kind of host, host the show, yeah. Host, yeah, I'll host, take that, host. yeah. Um, imagine one day we, we can record in the Clay Van studio. <laughs> that, would, that would be class. You know, to be fair as well, Super Scoreboard is kind of like a podcast. Uh, it basically is, I mean... It, it always takes a winter every five years, so, you know, MD's watching from Clyde One. Get us on. Get us on, the Super Scoreboard will be, we'll take over it one day. I'll definitely know how to work the, you know, the sounds machine, I'll definitely... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that, but yeah. I will definitely have, we'll definitely try and get something done for the summer anyway. And, um, ben, if you're up for it, as I say, to wrap up the, the podcast or uh, po- the video, uh, Wednesday, if there's nothing on, mate, watch along. Uh, St. Stephen's, which I don't think they are, I don't even think I'm going back. Oh, then. Okay. Well, all, all, all breaking news, by the way, I, I may have retired from St. Stephen's. <laughs> Uh, the Celtic Mind exclusive there. We've heard it from Ben. Um, bye. Um, we'll get that done, and that will be going to the chat. I used to do that, by the way. I was, I was talking about the, the career, I, the path I went to where we are now, Ben. I used to do that as well. Uh, Celtic and I watched long. Oh, I was doing lockdown, mind you, but um, I, was, I was, you know, it was, that was peak time, you know what I mean? Um, but I it'll be back on Wednesday night. Hopefully, anyway, fingers crossed, we'll have the Celtic done United game, but there will be celebrations at full time from me and Hugh Keevans. We don't worry about that. Um, and the co- the cold beans will up. They'll be up in the air, Ben. I think so. In the Bovril, yeah. Yep. Um, oh, that's it. I mean, maybe we'll need, we'll need to get a Bovril for Wednesday night. <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll, I'll certainly get my packet of Bovril up here. <laughs> um, and I will see you Wednesday night, hopefully, and then Thursday for the podcast. So thanks, Ben, for coming on. It's been a crack of our video. Um, no and we'll see you. Always a pleasure. Alright, we'll see you. If anything doesn't break tomorrow, news. We'll see you Wednesday night for the game. Uh, and the title party begins. So I'll see you. I'll see you more, Ben. Bye. See you. <laughs> see you. Cheers, mate.